Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, uh, viewers, we are back. Continue with where we left off. Living cost. Yeah, the living cost. Yeah. Let's take okay. and then so go to critical. On income protection, you could go the other way and say, listen, I don't want you to even talk about my earnings. Mm -hmm. That's right. Me, I pay my rent. My rent is thousand pounds. My council tax is two hundred pounds. My utility bill is one fifty. This is the all together. My living cost is thousand five hundred. Yes. I want to insure myself thousand five hundred. And so, if tomorrow I get injured, my doctor says stay home for three months, twelve months. Pay me thousand five hundred every month mm -hmm. till the doctor says you can go mm -hmm. back to work. Wonderful. So that one, there's no sixty percent, eighty percent, twenty percent. There is none of that. Uh -huh. It's banger. You are getting thousand five hundred every month. If on in the event in the event that your GP. Your GP so my issue. next question is: If that's the case, do they have a time period that they will pay to maybe if if you are sick or you have an ailment for mm -hmm. a period of two years? Yeah. Are they going to be paying you for that two years? They will pay or it you depends as long on as the specifics. As long as the doctor, the doctor is uh, because the doctors do review. They don't. Mm -hmm. Most doctors will not just tell you to go stay home for a year. Okay. Yeah. They'll probably give you three months yeah. to come then for a year. Yeah. 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 So when they, they assess you, they give you a further three years. Mm -hmm. you, you need to make the, your advisor know about, about it, it. Okay. or your insurer That's know right. about it. And then they will keep on. Okay. paying you, and then you do the review. They keep paying you as long as the doctor says that you, you cannot work stay. for this period. Okay. Then so be it. it for it. Okay. Now there's something um, actually nicer. There's something called waiver of premium. I'm going to make you happy. Waiver of premium. As we live, mm -hmm. everyone is prone to diseases, injuries, whatever. Yeah. So if you get sick. Whether it's income protection, critical illness, life insurance, mortgage insurance, whichever insurance it is, mm -hmm. you can buy waiver of premium. It doesn't cost much. It costs anything from 10p to about five pounds, oh, wow. depending on the period, how old you are, how much of a risk you are, but it won't go anything beyond five pounds mm -hmm. on top of your insurance. Mm -hmm. This is what waiver of premium does. If at any point in time you are sick, and the doctor says, listen, you've got to stay home for this period. It means that you are not going to earn money. Mm -hmm. You're not going to earn income. Okay. You get that note, you send to the insurer, mm -hmm. and the insurer will waive your premium for up to the period when the doctor says, ah, oh. you are fit and well. Okay. You can go back. Okay. This makes sure that your policy don't get cancelled. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it keeps your policy going until you are healthy again. If you may never have to go back to work, then they will pay your premium on your behalf to keep the policy going mm -hmm. so that if anything happens to you, you die, then you get your payout. That's good. If you have income so protection... Saying, how would you know? Income if, protection, that means you, your waiver has kicked in, mm -hmm. they are paying your premium, and they are paying you your income protection or your living costs. So if you don't know all these classifications and different types I told you. and you just go and they sell you anything mm. on the streets like you know this is a policy that you, they, they just say anything anyhow mm. and then you start paying for it but you don't uh, even understand I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you it, 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 it is the lack of awareness mm. it is it lack of information mm. going out there I told you an incident that happened three months ago with the company um, this Nigerian lady had insured herself up to 300,000, mm -hmm. right? And she got sick. It wasn't a critical illness, but she got sick. She was admitted at the hospital, right? And unfortunately, she, her direct debit didn't go through. And the insurance provider kept writing to the, to the home. Wrote to the no home, response. no response. Wrote to the home again to remind them that, listen, you are going to cancel pay. it if you do not pay by this deadline. No, no response. response. Oh the woman's uh, kids were going to the home, but because the name on the letters were for the woman, they didn't bother to open it. Oh. So the woman came back from hospital, and then they had canceled the policy. After about a week or so, the woman passed away. They had canceled the policy. The kids got round to things and then called the insurance provider. Mm -hmm. 
And then they said, sorry, your policy was cancelled. You didn't pay for the premium. Damn. You get me? You didn't pay yeah. for the premium. So what they did was they called us mm -hmm. because we set the plan up. Mm -hmm. And then usually, like myself, if you do not pay on your direct debit, mm -hmm. I get an, a message. Okay. I get an alert that your client's direct debit did not go through. Mm -hmm. So then I go to find out what has happened. What the circumstances were. So maybe you may have lost your job or even your car, something may have happened, which is why they didn't go through. They will give you a second chance to pay. Okay. You get me? So then I'll let you that the direct debit now have been set for this day. Mm -hmm. So you make sure that there's funds in it, da, 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 so you are sorted. Because we never want a circumstance where our client is not covered. Okay. Mm -hmm. You get me? There are different things that we do for clients to keep their policies running. Oh, which, right. Which, so which, it's which, like after which, sales which, service as well. Which, which or, your average Which is which is uh, very insurance good. Sales uh, how, how many insurance companies, you know, No, 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 they do that. For them, it's straight It's up. like after you sales pay, care, you know, they care for you, so make sure yeah. that. There are many, many things that we do that I may not be able to say here on the mm -hmm. TV. Mm -hmm. But on one-on-one, -on -one, when you call my number, we can discuss all of those things. So in the future, if something happens, there's a red alert, it comes to me. Then I'll call you to check what is going on and then we'll see how best we can help you so that the policy doesn't get cancelled. Mm -hmm. Because a cancelled policy puts you at risk. You get me? Okay. So, so this lady's case. This lady's case. They called us and then we went through the whole file. You know, the client needs analysis that we did here. Mm -hmm. Went through, did the investigation, went through the advice, the thorough, advisor, thorough, thorough analysis. do the job that he was meant to do. Did he thorough. advise the woman on uh, waiver of premium? Because if you had a waiver of premium, it should have this, kicked in. This wouldn't mm -hmm. have happened. Yes. You get me? Mm -hmm. Whether you pay or not, when you are in the hospital, even if you do not alert the insurance provider, mm -hmm. you have proof that you that were you at were the hospital. Hospitalized. Yeah. And the waiver of premium will kick, kick in automatically. Yeah. You get me? So yeah. you still remain covered. Yes. So realize that, yes, he did, he, he did advise the, um, the, the client, premium, but, but unfortunately, the woman said it was going to cost. Uh, no, he did not. Oh, the guy did. The not. advisor did not. Oh, so then that helped the lady. That helped the lady. So the advisor did not, and that was going to cost the lady seventy p mm -hmm. waiver of premium. Oh, small amount. Less than a pound, on top of her premium. Yes. So the kids were like, ah, Nasser Mami was paying so much money. He certainly, she certainly would have taken mm -hmm. the waiver of premium. Yeah. And I said, yes, understandable. Mm -hmm. So we then went on to to take, take the file. Yeah, we we we, we took charge mm -hmm. of the case. Mm -hmm. We spoke to Royal London and listen. This is a one off case where it's an, genuine. An advisor did the not. Wo yeah, the woman paid all her policies, uh, premiums up to this day, time of hospitalization. Was, you know, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And then we reached an agreement where the insurance provider paid half of the money and then our company paid half of the money. That is brilliant. Mm -hmm. That is brilliant. Sorted. That is you will not get that anywhere, 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 anywhere in the world. No. You will not get that. It will just be a no because mm -hmm. legally they could cancel it. That's yeah. right. You can go to any court, court you want. You're, you're not going to get anywhere. Even, 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 even car insurance, they said you, you haven't paid, it's cancelled. That's canceled. it. You're it's not canceled. covered. Yeah. You know, there's nothing Wonderful. they can do. Wonderful. So, viewers, which is fantastic, uh, contact Mr. Boydou. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Yeah, you, just you, finish you, what you, you get uh, then you know that you are the right place oh, where so you you will be looked after. Mm. Yeah, because it's it's very very important to um, subscribe to this because mm. Africans and especially where we come from, Ghanaians, it's been a hell of a time when it comes to funerals and deaths and all that in the family. There is no cover anywhere, and people. You know, go helter, run helter skelter to make sure yes. they, they get some money to cater for the uh, funeral arrangements and all that. Yes. So, can you touch on the critical illness? Uh, okay. What you, you wanted to talk about? Right. So critical the, illness the is you insuring yourself for the future unknown situation where you get sick with one of the defined illnesses by the insurance providers. Mm -hmm. Each insurance provider, like any other company, try to set up themselves to appeal to clients. Mm -hmm. So each one and their provisions. Mm -hmm. 
but mostly with critical illnesses across board, they are quite similar. So things like cancer, any type of cancer, tumor in the brain, um, blindness, deafness, um, heart, heart attack, stroke, uh, the organ kidney, transplant, kidney failure. Kidney failure. All these Never. diseases come under critical illness. Mm. So the very moment you are working, you are a hard working person, you go by your business, you're strong today. Something happens tomorrow, they need to go for surgery. Mm. Meaning you have to stop working. Yeah. Right. Then you need some money to take care of home because you've got responsibilities at home. The fact that you are sick doesn't mean that you will not pay on your mortgage. Yeah. The fact that you are sick doesn't mean that the energy company is going to say, oh, Sally, you are sick, okay, no happen. problem. <laughs> Let me give you one year. Don't worry, when you are, you you are better, pay. you pay. No. So, you take up a critical illness cover for that period when you are in danger. So that they pay a lump sum to you. Okay. You've seen, you probably have seen um, some people who may have suffered stroke or whatever. They struggle to walk up the stairs, and so they bought this stair lift. Yes. Yeah, stair lift. And it takes them up. It takes yeah. them up. Mm -hmm. NHS is not going to give that to you. Mm -hmm. You have to buy that out of your pocket. So when you are critically ill. They give you a lump sum, whatever you agreed from the beginning, be 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. Mm -hmm. They give that to you, then you take some of that to make life comfortable for so, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm -hmm. So that is the whole idea of critical illness cover. When you are in danger, you know, with life cover, it pays your beneficiaries or your when loved you ones gone. money when you are gone. But critical illness pays you when, when you, you are alive. You but you get a diagnosis. So, you get a diagnosis so, and being treated for it. So viewers out there, I, I'm let, asking let, that. Let's get clarity on that. You get a diagnosis. It is not paid on diagnosis because like cancer, mm -hmm. you could be diagnosed of cancer, but upon investigation, it might, be, it might come out as benign. And so you don't need any treatment. Right. If you do not need any treatment, then you're good to go. Okay. But if you need treatment, surgery, hospitalization, anything like that, anything like that, then, then, yes. they, then they will pay so, before you engage in that. Process. Before, through, during, or after. It depends on when you make the application. Okay. The moment you know that you're going to have surgery for your cancer, you, you need could, to you could put in the application yes, there and or then. Or call so, your advisor, and your advisor right. can put a claim for you. Because it will be better to have the money before you go in. Absolutely. Right. Top, so, top, yeah. top before you die. So my next <laughs> <laughs> Just in, just in case they take you in and you're not able my, to come back my, my, to play. <laughs> <laughs> my next question is um, does the um, what is it called the life policies yes. does some of it come with um, critical illness yes 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 so you what can, you did for me came with yes what we did for you was yes. a, a separate life uh -huh. and then a separate life with critical illness cover okay Right. So what we do is that we go through the entire insurance provisions for you okay. so that you have an idea. Mm -hmm. And then we ask you when we get to each one, life insurance, you now understand what it is. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in taking up a policy on life? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Okay. <clears throat> we go to critical illness. You understand now. Is that something that you, you're worried about? You will want to take? You may want to take that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now that's two different products. That you want to take, mm -hmm. maybe in income, income protection. protection. Mm -hmm. You might want it. With that is a living term. expense. Living <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cost. No, we haven't done living <laughs> cost. <laughs> living you cost. know why we didn't, we didn't we didn't get there. I know. I know. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And so living cost. Um, yeah, okay. You may decide to take living cost, <laughs> uh, critical, and a life. Those are three products. So how we set up for you is that this is a comprehensive cover. You're covering all angles. Oh, good. And it right. tends to be a little bit cheaper, I'm guessing. Well, some companies will only give you about 50p discount oh, for okay. having different products together. Okay. You get me? So, one, critical illness cover is very expensive. Mm -hmm. It's much more expensive than the life cover. Mm -hmm. Life cover is cheap. Life cover with mortgage guarantee is the cheapest. Mm -hmm. So, you have the cheapest being the mortgage guarantee. You have the life cover on level 10, which is also cheap mm -hmm. after the mortgage and then you have the critical illness which is a little bit more expensive mm -hmm. so let's say you're paying 30 pounds 
for 100,000 uh, cover on life. Mm -hmm. But on uh, 30 pounds, you probably get 40,000 pounds cover on critical. Okay. Because critical illness is rampant. It happens a lot. People claim on it a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have critical illness. The way we set it up is we set you up on life cover alone mm -hmm. so that God forbid you die, your family gets a lump sum. Mm -hmm. Because critical illness is expensive, we set the critical illness separate, but we add life to it. Okay. So now you have a hundred thousand life insurance only that is banked right that is on the side now we discuss you said you want critical illness this is critical illness cover mm -hmm. life cover will cost you 30 pounds mm -hmm. but you get hundred thousand mm -hmm. critical illness will cost you 40 pounds mm -hmm. for about fifty thousand cover mm -hmm. right okay. but we will not do just the critical illness cover mm -hmm. we will add life cover to this mm -hmm. Forget about this one. Mm -hmm. This one is banked. Okay. So you have life with. or with life or critical or life with critical, mm -hmm. which means that whichever thing happens first, mm -hmm. if you die, you still get forty thousand mm -hmm. on top of this hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. If you get critical illness, mm -hmm. you get only forty thousand. Mm -hmm. You get me? Oh, okay. Instead of saying, oh, you want critical illness, then I'll give you critical illness cover of 40 pounds because it will not cost any much more mm -hmm. if I add life to it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It will be the same price. So that's, okay. that's good then. Mm. Okay. You understand? Okay. Same price. Right. But most banks will not do it that way. Okay. You want critical illness cover, boom, they give you critical illness cover mm -hmm. because they are not advisory. Now, what the people who don't set things up right do is that on mortgage cover they set it up on life with kick now when you do life with critical illness cover it's very expensive mm -hmm. because of the critical illness cover mm -hmm. so for a mortgage of two hundred thousand, mm -hmm. you end up paying about 300 pounds a month oh no 350 pounds a month mm -hmm. Uh, this white electrician came to my home. Okay. Uh, what I was then thinking is that then you could have um, a life cover. Mm. Then you could have the uh, income uh, thing. Ah. So income, income, protection. income protection based on living living cost. Living cost. Because yeah. the way that I was thinking like mm -hmm. that is that if you should do it that way, uh, with the with the um, thing income protection with living cost. Mm -hmm. Any kind of, I'm sure it's any kind of any disease, disease that the doctor will tell you stay away from work. Yes, but you know, you some, love that. You know, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately uh -huh. some critical illness, mm -hmm. some critical illness, you may just be coming in for a surgery, book for a surgery, but you probably be going to work. Okay. And and therefore, the doctor might not tell you. Therefore, something like that will not qualify you. Yes, but for if the income if, protection. Uh, but then, if that's long as if that, whether you whether it's a toothache, and it takes you away from work, and it takes you away from work, you're okay. losing earnings. Okay. So then, income protection. So this will be a way to counter it. Assuming that the cost of um, the cost of critical, critical illness, illness is, is too high. Yeah. You yeah. could, then you could go the other way and then get right. income. Yes. Yes. You've got to be smart. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and the other thing is that if you are an employee and your work offers you sick pay, income protection will not pay at the same time yeah. as you getting the sick pay. Mm -hmm. It will only pay when you, the sick when pay you are not wears off. Yes. You know when sick pay where you have the state, yeah. state one, the mm -hmm. SSP. Mm -hmm. With the state one, we don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. The state one can be paying you, that is about 70 pounds or money. something yeah. a week. Mm -hmm. yeah. No problem. But then they will pay the income protection alongside the state uh, sick pay, statutory mm -hmm. sick pay. Okay. Right? But your work itself, when you are getting work income or work sick pay, will you will not get at, the at income protection well. at the same time. The same time. They will okay. wait Till for the, the sick out. pay where it's out. out. Okay. 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 It's okay. wonderful. Yeah. So do you want us to wrap up because mm, yeah <laughs> okay so what i'm going to say is that thank you mr kab kwame asari Bwedu, for your informed you know very very good 
information that you've given us today yes. about insurance and i want you to tell our viewers you know tell them mm. what you think um they can do mm. to make sure that they are covered and then after that i want also charles to also give them your closing remarks as we wrap up things mm. so well, viewers and listeners all over the world, I want to first of all thank you for being with us and then thank our host, um, Senior Kweku Donko, for this opportunity to be able to speak to you about probably what is the most important factor in all of our lives. Because, again, I cannot rehash enough that we will all die. Every single one of us will die. And if we will die, then let's make our death beneficial to those people that we love. The only way we can change the circle of poverty, the only way we can create generational wealth, we can soothe the suffering of people that we love. The only way we can say, okay, enough is enough. Let us change the poverty cycle is for us to take a decision today to set up a in life insurance or a personal protection policy so that when something happens to you, God forbid, then those behind you will start a new life of richness, a new life of wealth, so they do not suffer and the next people behind you, the next generation, do not ever suffer. Call me. I think uh, Senior will put my number on there. Call me on 07-414-730-532. Then I can look at your own circumstance, your unique circumstance, and then help carve a comprehensive cover for you and your family. God bless us all. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mr. Buedu, and thank you, Mr. Eric Lekudonko, for hosting this event. Uh, today, it has come to our awareness through Mr. Buedu, Mr. Buedu, uh, the importance mm. of having a life policy, having something covering you for critical illness, and also income protection. These are very important um, uh, financial uh, tools mm. that we should have uh, for our lives so that the problems that we have been having for all these years we can change our destiny we can change our course we can improve our future uh, the people that we leave behind leave behind a better life that your children and your grandchildren can also follow that mindset mm. or way of thinking Absolutely. to change the, the, the problems that we've had. Uh, this year, as I said before, mm. is a year that many people had many uh, aspirations and hopes that uh, it was going to be great. Mm. But you, you have all seen how it has turned out. Yep. Uh, once again, in the past, whenever we had problems, we always had bigger groups. Sometimes mm. if we didn't have the right um, you know, financial tools in place, yeah. We had sometimes family supporting us, supporting. but we want to change that idea. Yes. We want to uh, present a situation where, you know, it is never a burden. Mm. Our departure is never a burden onto anybody, but you leave behind happy people. Absolutely. So uh, we thank you for watching us today. Take action. Call in the experts. Mm. As you, you would have noticed, I have learned so much. Mm. Even though I thought I knew something, but I've learned so much. So it's only the experts that can give you that professional knowledge. And not only that, but your company also go that extra mile of giving you an after service. So they just don't sell to you, but they come along to make sure that you, you can claim and claim successfully. So thank you for watching. Uh, today all right viewers um we are wrapping up we're coming to a close thank you mr Kwame asari Bodu, for gracing this occasion with this invaluable information that you're giving to our viewers and they're going to take it and work on it and i know that people out there will be serious 
about this information and go get your policy as soon as possible. Thank you, Mr. Bedukusi. Charles Bedukusi, for your contribution, for supporting us in this uh, program. Um, viewers, please, this number is going to be put down there if you need any specific and expert advice contact him so that you get yourself covered don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to click the hit the notification button so that you get our next program thank you and thanks for watching bye guys thank you <laughs>